the difference with yeah. this one that makes it a little bit more difficult. Would you have to put the cosine a over yeah. on the other side? And well, <coughs> here's the thing. I, I didn't write down the formula when we were dealing with cosine and b. But what you guys notice right now is I have my two formulas for the cosine, log cosines with, that are dealing with the uh, sine of c and the length of c. And then I wrote down the cosine of a that deals with the cosine of the angle a and the side length of a. I didn't write down the cosine of b for the angle or the side length, but we're not going to have to use it. I take a look at a triangle, all right? And first, I always want to see, can I use the law of sines? Well, I can't use the law of sines because we have an included angle. I cannot have a ratio of a over a or c over c or b over b. Does that make sense to everybody? Why we can't use it? So now what I'm going to have to use is use the law of cosines. And to use the law of cosines, we just have to go through what we have. We have a side length B, we have a side length C, and we have the cosine of A. So the only law of cosines that we can use is our um, law of cosines for side length A, where A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus B times C times cosine of A. This is the only one we can use. Huh? No, I'm using this one right up here. Yeah, you're missing the two. Oh, minus the two, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> minus two BC, thank you. So, guys, especially Anthony, you should just be following wrong with this. So, now what we're going to do is, yeah, I'm just going to plug in. I don't know what my A squared is. So, my A squared equals B squared. Um, plus c squared minus 2 times 3 times 10 times cosine of a. Well, obviously we have 9 plus 100 minus 2 times 3 is 6 times minus 60 times cosine of 55 degrees. Actually, let's write that in. So cosine of 55 degrees. So let's just figure all this out. So I take my calculator and I do cosine 55 degrees times 60 and I do uh, 109 minus that answer and I get 75.59 as I round it. So I can say A squared equals 74.59 rounded. Alright, square root. And I get A equals 8.64 rounded. So I can say A equals 8.64. Is everybody following me with what I did there? Yeah. All I did was I took that log of cosines, which I forgot, make sure it's a minus 2BC, and I just plugged in what I had. So to do this, you want to make sure, you know, you have your three formulas that you can use, see which one has all the elements that you have, and then take, or the one that you're, you know, you're missing, and then that's the one you're going to plug in for. So now that I've uh, figured out what A is, A is 8.64, now I could use the log of cosines to figure out my missing angles, but now I have a ratio, right? And once I now have a ratio between an angle and a side length, I can use the law of sines. So we could say... Um, a over sine of A is equal to B over sine of B, right? Just pick one. So we already know the ratio of A over sine of A. That's 8.64 over sine of 55 degrees. And that's equal to B, which is 3, over sine of B. Right? <coughs> the law of sines. Everybody follow me with this, Brittany? Brennan? Good? So now we just use our cross multiplication, and what we get is sine of b equals uh, 3 times sine of 55 degrees times 8.64. So we do all that multiplication. We got sine of 55 degrees times 3 times 8.64. Oh, and I forgot.
forgot to divide. I'm sorry, that's divided by one. I'm like losing my brain, aren't I? Mm -hmm. That's divided by 8.64. It's okay. Oh, where's it? Okay. Well, Let's do this again, right? We've got a long day. Sorry, right. yeah. It's been like the, it's, it is a case well, of the so Mondays on a Friday. Three uh -huh. times sine 55 pounds. <laughs> Divide by 8.64. Equals 0.2844. Um, four, four. Take this um, inverse side of that answer. 16.52. Oh, right. oh, so therefore B equals. 16.52. And then again, guys, again, I'll just say it again, we could use law of sines, we could use law of cosines to find our angle C, but since we now know, and this is not <laughs> drawn to scale, obviously, but since we now know what our, um, our two side lengths are, we can just add them up together and say 55 plus 16.2, and then subtract that from 180. I think I like using it a lot. And there we go. We're done.